Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is what do you need to know right now? Let's see what your angels or guides want to tell you at the moment. Like what's going on in your energy, if it's something you need to pay attention to or something you need to look out for. Um, let's see. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. You ready? All right, pile one, the anchor. Pile two, the lotus flower. Pile three, the tree. Pile four, the moon. Pick your pile. Pick what you are most drawn to, and we'll see what your angels and guides want to tell you today. Hi, pile one. If you chose the anchor, then this one's going to be your reading. Let's get some cards. Knight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Temperance. All right. I really do feel like this is something that you've they're pointing out something that you've done recently to take you a step closer to a goal. Like, I feel like you're focused on something right now. To You're focused on achieving something. And I feel like you did something recently, if not today, that uh, led you a step closer to, to reaching your goal. So I want to say good on you. Like, good for you. I am so happy that uh, you are moving forward and and taking steps that you need to take uh, to get what you want. At least that's what it feels like with that knight. I, that knight tells me like you did something. The knight's the hero of his own story. So I really do feel like you did something or you're about to do something that, that'll um, help you in the long run. So like it, I do feel like it, it's tied to money. So um, you know, maybe you, uh, you know, applied for a job or you, uh, did something that got you noticed. So now you could be, uh, you know, you could ask for a raise there. I don't know. There's something here. And I, I, I think it was really good. I, the queen, the queen tells me that you are, just you're just doing good for yourself I think you're you're doing it on your own I feel like you're doing it without help even if you have people in your life that could help I think whatever this situation is you're doing it on your own and you're doing it for you and because it's what you need to do and I, I just Again, it just makes me feel so proud of you. Like, I, I think you're doing the right things. And I think, um, you know, you're very loving and loyal and practical and reliable. And I think this is going to lead to a lot of success with for you. Money's coming in with that Ace of Pentacles. So, it, like I said, it could be a new job or some kind of a new financial opportunity here. All right, so money's coming in for you. The Knight of Cups is usually a romantic offer, but since this is mostly about money, I kind of feel like, again, a romantic offer for money. Like money's coming in somehow, or, you know, you're going to get an opportunity to make more money, or I just feel like there's really something good happening for you because you took a step towards it. You know, even if that step, whatever it was that you took, like even if it was like, say you you got your car fixed, so now you could go to an interview. You know, like you took like the first step or you took a step. It doesn't have to be a major thing, but you did something that's gonna, you know, that, that puts you on your path. Like it, it was a step down the path. I hope this is making sense. Like I'm really tr trying here. Um, to communicate what I'm feeling. But again, I just, I feel like 
proud of you. I, I, I'm very happy for you. Now, the temperance card is either telling you to just have patience that, you know, you're doing, you're doing everything right and some things have to take some time. Or they're saying you're trying to blend something. Maybe you're trying to blend two aspects of your life together. Maybe you're trying to see how something would work for you. So I, I'm, I'm not sure which one it is. I'm not feeling one or the other strongly, but they're the two explanations I'm kind of feeling for that card. So we're going to have to get some more and see where this goes. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Either one is great. A broken wishbone. A wish will not be granted. Okay. Now, I'm not going to be upset over that. Why? Because not all wishes are meant to be granted. Sometimes there's something even better for us out there that we don't even see or realize. So sometimes we wish for something when they're like, nah, you don't want that. We're going to give you this. And it's much better. So I'm not, I'm not overly upset over that broken wish. It, not with all this money coming in. Like not with this new opportunity. Not with you like in the right mindset now or, or doing the right thing. Um, so I, I still feel very proud of you. And if something doesn't work out for you, it's not meant for you. There's something much better for you. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Let me uh, see what else comes out. Discovery. Mm -hmm. You're discovering something important. Is it something about yourself? I don't know. I, I, I think you're discovering something that's going to lead you to money. You're going to discover a path to money somehow. Look, he's panning for gold. He discovered gold. He found gold. So you're going to you're gonna discover a path to money somehow. I don't know in exactly what way, but I think you are, are going down the path you need to go down. Purification. Sometimes to get some courage, <laughs> sometimes we need to cleanse our thoughts, uh, mind, body, and spirit. Sometimes we just need a cleanse, right? So if you can do that, I would do that. And you know what the easiest way to do that is, is underwater somehow. Like if you can get under a shower and imagine all your worries and all your negative thoughts and all everything that's not for your highest good going down the drain with that water, that's a nice little cleanse there. If you could go outside in the rain when it rains, if it's like a summer shower, not if it's a lightning storm. Come on, let's use common sense, guys. <laughs> but like if it's a summer shower, go let that rain wash over you, right? And cleanse some of your worries away or cleanse some of the negative feelings away or cleanse whatever needs to be let go of. Sometimes you can dunk yourself in, in a lake or a river or a, even in a swimming pool. Just imagine like the water just taking everything unwanted away from you because water flows just like energy does, right? So we want it to flow out of us and away from us. So I kind of feel like you need to cleanse your thoughts a little bit, cleanse, just like I said, uh, purify yourself. Get ready for this coming in because I think whatever is coming in, it's important. It could be big, but it's definitely meant for you. It could be some kind of a windfall. Maybe somebody's leaving you some money. Maybe you're going to get an inheritance. But there's something coming in for you that's it's kind of important for your important for you. Like it'll change your life in a way.
Yeehaw! Now the back side, I don't always like these messages on the back side. These aren't my, this isn't my favorite deck. I gotta be honest with you, but you know, I, 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 we get bored using the same cards over and over again, so we change it up. When it comes to choosing who will be in your life, I recommend valuing their yeehaw quality above all others. So I guess this is saying you want somebody with excitement or you want somebody who's positive. You want somebody who's happy in your life. So maybe that's who's coming in. Maybe this this broken wish, because I put it on top of that, is somebody who you thought you wanted in your life. That's not going to happen because you're going to, because they don't have enough of that yeehaw in them. They're not meant for you. You got somebody else coming in. It's a possibility. But this is saying you're meant for much something greater. I, I really do feel like that's like, that. It, I feel like it's tied to that broken wishbone. I don't know why, but I do. I mean, probably because it's where it come, came out in the read, you know? And that's, I put it on top of that. And that's where I would have put in any card, the next card anyway. So I think it's important. I think it's tied to that. I think uh, you're meant for something better. Okay, I ramble sometimes, sorry. The mirror. Know thyself, self-examination, and seeing who you really are. Okay, so for some reason, I'm, co- I'm going to tie it back to this. For some reason, I think today or, you know, recently or in the near future, you did something or you're going to do something that was impressive. And it, it doesn't even have to be... It doesn't have to be impressive. Like, oh, I don't know how to say this. Um, you did something really good for yourself. Like, you you took a step in the right direction, right? You did it, and it was meant that you did something good for yourself. Like, you, like oh, I'm struggling. Give me a second. The words will come. I'm, I, you know, come on, Gabriel, help me out here. Um, all right. So, it says, what's it say? Know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. So, I feel like because you did whatever you did recently, that like, you're like, yeah, see, I can do it. Like, it's, it's like you're, you're seeing your confidence again. Like, you're getting your confidence back. Like, you're seeing how, how much you can actually accomplish, what you're capable of. You are capable of so much. You are the queen of pentacles. And I think you might have lost that a little bit, but whatever you did or whatever you're going to do, like is going to bring back that spark of life. Like you're like, you know what? I can do this. I'm not going to let anybody get over on me or I'm not going to let something pass me by because I'm afraid. I've got my spark back. So I don't know why, but that's kind of what they were giving me. I know. I didn't articulate it well, but hopefully you understand what I'm saying. You're very close to achieving your goal. There you go. So again, something really good is coming in for you. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it does kind of feel like money. Achievement. Look, good. Enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. Although on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights. All right. So we're worried about somebody's health. All right. So we're not going to, we're not going to worry though. We're going to, you know, take steps to do what we need to do with that, where that's concerned. But there's some kind of achievement achievement for you personally. 
So you're going to reach some kind of a goal or you're going to get some kind of recognition. Um, But there's definitely some kind of achievement coming in for you, which is fantastic. Magnificent. Confidence. It comes with time and practice. Well, that is both true. Sometimes confidence takes a while to build. All right. So that comes with time. But sometimes when you practice your confidence, when you, when you, the more you use it, the more, the more it comes into play in your life, the easier it is. So when you uh, hide away from it, it's hard to get back into the routine of it. So practice confidence on a daily basis if you can. Right? Look fear in the eye every day on something. You know, I, it, it doesn't have to be a big deal. It could be just something little. But try it. Because once you get out of the practice of it, it's harder to get started again. Trust me. <laughs> I know this from experience. All right, let me pull you some charms. All right. Uh, I don't well, let's see. Can the anchor be something for you guys? Yeah. This is about like being sturdy and steady and stable, stability. Money's coming in. So yeah, that makes sense. Joy, happiness, the key to success many keys to success there right you got the whole keychain there you're gonna have a lot of doors opening for you angel they got you they're here they're supporting you you will have a wish come true even though it's not a certain particular wish like you're still getting something though all right things will still work out for you they want you to be brave and courageous and you got pumpkin. Pumpkins are, are a symbol for me of abundance. Again, they're they're very hardy fruit, and uh, they grow a lot. And and for me, like pumpkins is a sign of abundance. So there you have it, pile one. Pretty good read. We could all all use some more money in our life, right? Anyway, uh, that's what I got for you. So give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. And leave me a comment because all of those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, pile two. Sorry. If you chose the lotus flower, then this one is your reading. Let me get your cards, okay? I was like staring at the computer and I see the timer, you know, ticking off. And I was like, like I didn't... I don't know. It didn't register like, okay, it's time for you to speak. Like, it's going again. Ah, anyway, death card. And before you say anything, I know this is the page pentacle or the knight of pentacles. I don't know why they, they chose this as the death card. It was wrong, I guess, because it was very similar. They must have messed up in their printing <laughs> somehow. It's because it's a cheap deck, but I just liked it because it was pink. I wanted a pink deck for some reason, and uh, it was not very expensive. So, um, But I do like it. Other than that, I think that was just a, a mess up on their part. But any, anyway, um, here we go. <laughs> The death card. Did I say what they all were? Death, high priestess, empress, justice, and ace of wands. I think something's felt something ended or something's coming to an end. I mean, that could be a Scorpio in your life that you have to deal with. But for the most part, I really do think something has ended. And uh, maybe you don't know how to feel about it or you don't know how to move on from it. But I think the high priestess is here to remind you that you need to look inward. You really need to uh, just look inside yourself for the answer because the high priestess is your higher self, basically. 
right? So uh, they want you, I think sh- she's telling you, look inside and kind of believe in what you see. You know, like I, I think she's telling you that this is, everything's going to be okay or this was the right thing. Like it needed to end. It wasn't meant for you or like it was time. So I, I think you need to, you know, again, take a look at your higher self. Who, who are you? Believe what you see, because I, I believe you're going to see an amazing person looking back at you. Because you are the empress, and right now, you are very desirable. So, there is, um, you know, I, I don't know if people want to be around you right now, or... I kind of feel like people are eager to be in your presence, like eager to be around you. And it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but like people want to be your friend and people do want to be romantic with you. Or I I just feel like you're attracting abundance. And that abundance could be friendships. But I, I think it's... It's more to it than that. I feel like maybe you're really good at your job and people... Like, they all want you on their team or, you know what I mean? They want you for their partner. It's just, you're being, you're, you're just in a really great place. But justice is here. And what I'm feeling this time from justice is like it might be time to make a decision or to make a choice. Like, I feel like it's time for you to get justice in a situation, but it's about seeing the truth about what's going on, right? And doing what's right, acting fairly. Even when the choice that you feel like you should make is not the one you prefer, but it would be the fair choice, I think that that's what they're calling you to do at this time. To make some kind of a fair decision. Because when you do, it's going to lead you to a brand new beginning here. A brand new uh, passionate beginning. A creative beginning. uh, A birth, if you will. Like there's, there's something good coming from it. Like with you being fair and making a good choice. So... I I don't know. Well, let's get some more cards and see where it's all going. Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Nice. And problems to be resolved. Okay. So, uh, two two good cards here or there's going to be a reason to celebrate or to, a reason to have some fun to enjoy yourself that's always really good but there is again something to be resolved so again I feel like it's that justice card like you have to make a decision and they want you to be fair reasonable they want you to do what's right even if it's not what you would normally choose or not what you would really, really want. I don't think the decision's going to harm you in any way, like by choosing something that's better for somebody else. But I think they're just saying, just be fair about it. So if somebody else is involved, like, uh, I don't know. I just kind of want, I just do what's kind of right for everybody involved. Make the fair choice. Because it'll pay off for you in the long run. It will. It'll come back to you. Okay. Family. See, I was kind of getting that this had to do with family. Like, there's an issue around family here. And again, it's saying, do what you think is fair. You're dealing with family. Either that or you're getting pregnant or something like that. Or, you know, a child's coming into your life or your family is expanding in some way. But I'm not really feeling that as much as I'm feeling like there's a situation with your family here. 
that they're saying, trust your intuition on it. You know who you are. It's okay to make the fair and right decision because, uh, again, you're going to benefit in the long run from it. Power. You're more powerful than you realize. That's what I think. I think other people see it and other people know it. Like they don't want to get on your bad side. For some reason you have, you hold the power and it's a really good position, but I don't think you even realize it. Like I don't even think you realize how powerful you are. I think at times you might have an inkling of it, but I, I, I don't think you, you see the full extent of it. You're the empress and it's like you're the leader and everybody wants to be associated with you in some way or nobody wants to upset the empress. Everybody wants to be on the good side. So I, I, I you know, because um, good things happen when they're in, when they're in your favor. So I think you have um, <laughs> a lot of power, a lot of power. Love doesn't have to mean near. Okay. Some are better loved at a distance. Oh yeah, that makes sense. For a while anyway. And that's okay. Okay. So this is saying, all right, and this is tying into family. This is saying that you could still love someone, a fa family mother, member, but that doesn't mean you have to have them in your life on a daily basis. You can love them from a distance. You could, you know, say, I love you. I, I wish the best for you, but stay out of my life. It's okay. As long as you're not feeling hate, hatred or bitterness or revenge, as long as you're not feeling any of those negative feelings toward your, toward your person, because that really just hurts us. It just makes us unhealthy, right? So... You can love your person, just love them from a distance. That's, it's perfectly fine, all right? So I kind of feel like that's this thing. Like, I kind of feel like there's a, a situation where you're going to come up, come in contact, maybe at a family celebration with a family member. And, you know, there's issues here. And you're afraid you might uh, do something to, you know, put you in bad favor or, or something uh, with the rest of the family. Because this, this person has, has uh, really did you wrong in some way. Like you're really, you have real feelings towards this person. Uh, but the thing is, it's, it's the power's in your hand. All right, you have the ability to be fair and just. And like I said, you could be civil, make amends even, but not, but say, mm -mm, you're not welcome in my life. You don't, you don't get to come back after everything you've done. All right. I, I wish you no ill will, but I don't, I don't want you in my life. That's perfectly okay. So you make the decision that's best for you, but it, it's got to be, uh, they're, they're, they're leaning more towards you got to do what's right. All right, for all involved, because I'm sure there's more multiple people involved. It says family. It's not one person. It's not a sibling. It's not a parent. It's it's family. So I have a feeling that there's like some kind of a family celebration that you might not want to attend because you know somebody's going to be there, but it would be the right thing to do to go and show your face to support that other family member because that other family member didn't do anything to you, right? And if you do that, you can you know, be cordial, keep, you know, an arm's length away, and then I think you will be rewarded for doing the right thing. That's the story they were showing me. So it, it, it doesn't have to be that exact story. Sorry for the yawn. But as long as it's like something similar, 
if you're resonating with it, it could be something similar along those lines. Keep going. You're doing the right thing. Keep going. Don't give up on something. Yeah, don't give up. So you're getting a passionate new beginning, a creative new beginning. So something is going to pay off for you with you, um, you know, just not giving up and doing the right thing. Luck is on your side. Yeah, we kind of already knew that, though, with that power card. I'm telling you, you, ha you are powerful. More powerful than you believe. Like, you hold, like, the ball's in your court. It is. And what you say is going to go. Like, you make the rules. Difficult times. Be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. Emotional upheaval. It's kind of what I was feeling. It's kind of what I was getting. Like somebody's going to make you uh, like not want to do something. Like not want to be a part of something. Not want to go to a family celebration. Not, there's there's, uh, there's going to be an emotional response from you. In regards to another person. And I think it's whoever you ended it with. Whoever you you cut ties. If there's a Scorpio involved. Then you, that might give you a clue as who it is. But. Um, it's whoever you said. Mm -mm, you, you don't you don't get to, to, to treat me that way. They're going to be in your presence. Or they're going to. They're affecting your life in some way. And they're saying. Just just do the fair thing. Everything's going to pay off for you. You don't have to have that person in your life. Just don't be nasty. Don't be revengeful. Voyage. You already have all the answers. So, yeah, this is a journey for you. This is this is a journey. Life is a journey. And um, you have all the answers. So you know what to do. By chance, some of you could be traveling. You could be traveling to a family celebration or something. And look at that endurance card. They're swimming. So they're moving. It's a movement card too. So uh, there's two movement cards. So I, I think that, you know, you might have to travel a little bit. But... Um, you already know what to do. Want to know why? Because A, you're not only the empress, but you're the high priestess. So you have that inner knowledge. You're connected. So you, you get it. You get it. And like I said, you have the power. So I feel like you have the power to really strike somebody down. But I don't think you should do it. I don't think that's what this is being called for you to do here. So, let's get some charms for you. Crown. I, again, you you have the power. Be smart. All right, you 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 already have the knowledge. So just do the right thing for you. The zebra comes in to help you. When you're making a change, right? When there's some kind of a change that you're going through. It's also here to say stay true to yourself, all right? So don't cave. Don't let anybody push you, put be a pushover or take advantage of you. Stay true to you and what you believe and what you how you feel. You got to travel uh, flip-flop. I, I think you might be traveling. I don't know. We have the giraffe here. So the giraffe is about awareness. So again, you have the high priestess here, which tells you that you have all the intelligence you need inside of you, all that wisdom to know how to handle this. But the giraffe also tells you to hold that head up high. 
right? And see the big picture. And then I think you're going to bloom. You're going to blossom. I think some, something is going to, something really great is going to happen after this difficult situation that you have to go through. And I, 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 I might be making it out to be a lot worse than it actually is. It's, it's just, it's not really all that difficult. It's just uncomfortable because you don't want to be around people you don't want to be around. Who does? So anyway sending you lots of love and light for this situation okay i'll send reiki to this particular situation for you so hopefully it'll go a lot smoother for you but anyway that is what i have for you pile two give the video a like subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment all those things help me and i appreciate you for it until next time love and light hi pile three if you chose the tree, then this one is your reading. Let's get your cards. Page of Cups. Three of Cups. Five of Cups. King of Swords. Devil. Devil could be Capricorn energy. I'm just saying. Just saying. I am feeling it, so I said it. All right, uh, the page. I, I feel like this is um, the start of a, a beginning for you, like a, the start of a dream. I, I'm feeling really good from that page, like happy. Like there's, it's the start of a dream and it, there's going to be a reason for you to celebrate. So I, I think yeah, you're getting some good news or something like that. Like you're, or you're taking the steps to start something um, that you've always wanted to do and you're going to celebrate that achievement now and I feel like that's coming in despite a loss despite something that's making you a little sad so I feel like this is a separate situation I feel like there's something that's not uh, something there's a loss of some kind here but I feel like you're being the king of swords when you're dealing with this loss I think you're using your logic. I think you're being very smart about it. I feel like you're you're uh, looking at it in an intelligent way. So I feel like you're going to be able to overcome it pretty quickly because you're going to be like, you know what? That had to happen. I have something really good coming in now, so everything's going to be fine. Uh, but you're seeing, you're really seeing the truth of the matter. It, it was it disappointing? Yeah, absolutely. It's disappointing, but. Whatever this is, it's you have the mental clarity to know that everything's still going to be okay and you can deal with this. All right. Now, like I said, that cap, that devil, it kind of does just feels like Capricorn energy. So I don't know if you're dealing with a cap, if you're a Capricorn or if you're dealing with a Capricorn, but it doesn't really feel like devil energy I'm not really feeling that you know when they when I feel devil energy it's like my hands are tied behind my back or not really behind my back but I kind of feel like them go like up in the air like you know when you when you're um never mind you, you don't need to know this stuff <laughs> I'm not feeling it like I normally feel it <laughs> that's all you need to know <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so I, I, honestly, you know what they're giving me now? They're giving me that it, the devil energy is tied to what you lost. Like it's, uh, you lost the toxicity. And, and I kind of feel like it was a person. I don't know. Anyway, that's, let's move on. Let's see where it goes from here because who knows uh, how this story will twist and turn. We'll see. Deep personal strength and peace that assured success yeah, see, I kind of feel like you're you're 
in the King of Swords energy. You're okay with this because this is a logical thought. Like whatever, you're using your logic. Like you're being smart about it. And like you, you, you're making peace with it because it's, uh, you're using your, your wise, you're wise to it. You need to defend yourself. All right. You know what? They're giving me a different scenario here too. I still feel like this could be for some, but they're giving me a different scenario. They're like, no, look at it this way. So I'm going to, I'm going to give you this scenario because this could be somebody's story. Somebody's going to try and apologize to you at some kind of a celebration. So I don't know if you have a party coming up or some kind of a celebration, but I feel like somebody's going to come and try and apologize to you. Somebody who you've lost, somebody you cut out of your life, somebody you walked away from, somebody who hurt you. This is a hurt. You're feeling the hurt. So whether you walked away from them or they walked away from you, it doesn't matter because they hurt you. All right. But you see how you see that this person is full of baloney. They're full of it. You see that they're just trying to schmooze. You see that they're not sincere. You see that they're still toxic. Right? But you've made peace with this situation. You've already made peace with it. That's why you could see it so clearly. Because you understand. You're kind of out of it now. Like you stepped out of the box. Even though it, it's affecting you directly. Like you can see it from outside of the situation. You can rise above it and look down on it. And you see that this person hasn't changed. And they might come at you because they're here saying, look, I'm, I'm apologizing. I'm being the right, I'm being the good person here. And you're like, I see through your BS. I, you're still toxic. And I'm, not, I, and I'm still not going to, I'm going to defend myself. I'm not going to allow you back in. You're not going to do this to me again. You're not going to hurt me again. You're still toxic. Who do you think you're fooling? You're not fooling me. I'm smart. I'm smarter than you think I am. I can see it. So that's the other set scenario. So I don't know. Let's, I told you this might. I felt like some twists were coming in. I felt it. So <laughs> let's keep going and we'll see how more. If there's any more twists and turns to this. It's so funny. It's so they they were getting my attention. They were like, no, 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 wait, read it this way. And they they spirit told me how to read it. Crazy. I mean, it's not crazy. I do this every day, but you know, like it was they they stopped me in my tracks. They're like, that's not for everybody. Transformation. This is you. You've gone through a transformation. You've changed. You've become the king of swords. You have learned how to put up that shield in your defense. You've matured. And you've gotten to a point where you're like, mm -mm, you're not, I'm not going to let anybody treat me like that. I deserve better. So, and I feel like you've, you have come to like a lot of peace. You have a lot of peace with this. Like you're, you know that you're in a good place. You know who you are. Like, I, I feel good for you. Like, I, I don't feel good about the situation, but I feel like you, you've got this. Like, the strength I feel from you is incredible. You got transformation again. It's like, here we go. The, the trans, uh, something has changed and I feel like it's you like like I want to say you're not that naive kid anymore like you grew up and you, you you know you're an adult and you can cut through the BS 
you can see through it. I really do think that this person's going to come in and be like, yeah, like, um, I'm the good guy. I, I'm i doing right here. You're the one who's, who's doing wrong by not accepting my apology. I, I'm a good person. And you're like, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're just doing this to get somebody's attention. Or you have an agenda here. You're not a good guy. Look. Look at this. Is this crazy or what? Don't be misled. So let, don't let this fool, this page, fool you. When fear speaks, it's always wrong, unless being chased by wildebeest. All right. So I, I, I don't like those other sides. I'm getting my message from that. Don't be misled. Don't let this person fool you. You're smart. Why, why do I feel like it's a family member with that tree? Because I always look at that as the family tree. So I kind of think it might be a family member coming to say, like, you know, I'm better. I changed. And you're like, no, you didn't. Sanctuary. Privacy. Inviolate personal space. Respect boundaries and taboos. Oh, this is saying they want you to put up boundaries. This person's going to try and break them. They're going to try and invade your space. And you are, that's where you're going to go to defend yourself. Because you're like, you know what? You need to step back. It's none of your business what's going on in my life. It, I'm, I don't need to share anything with you. You're going to set your boundaries. Communication is key. Yeah, I think communication is key in every aspect of life. I think you need to communicate to this person that I, that no matter what they say to you, you're not hearing it. Because you don't believe it. You're not being misled again. You're not going down the wrong path again. All right, so you need to uh, communicate that clearly. Like, no, I think you're full of crap. I think you're full of baloney. I'm not believing you. I don't care how nice you say it. I don't care how big of a smile you have on your face. I think you'd stab me in the back the second I turned around. I don't want you anywhere near me. And I don't want you knowing my business. And, you know, so that's harsh. And a lot of times I will tell you, that we need to forgive and we need to let people in and people deserve a second chance. But this time, not in this reading, this reading they're saying you need to defend yourself. This person is slick. They are charming. They are charismatic. They will they will laugh while they're stabbing you in the back. They will have a big smile on their face so everybody around them thinks that everything's okay while they're doing it. Ah, surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. Okay. <laughs> An invitation could bring love to those searching. All right, so now we're going back to this, where I felt like this aspect could be a, the beginning of a dream come true for you, or the beginning of a dream, like a, a, something to celebrate. So this you're going to have to deal with, but I feel like you are definitely going to get something really good out of this as well. So, uh, yeah, you could be finding love if you're single. That's pretty cool. Great. Endings are inevitable. Things need to end sometimes. And sometimes it's sad. And sometimes it hurts. But we got to let it go. We've gotta, we can't hold on to it forever. We got to loosen the grip. We got to let, sometimes we need to let things end. All right. 
Somebody's gonna try and play games. Somebody's gonna try and play games. They want to win. It's about winning for them. I, I don't even think they. I think they. They might not even see you as a person. Like it's about the win. They want to win. They want to be right. Oh, I don't like this person's energy at all. Somebody's tying the knot. That celebration could be a wedding. Either that or it's saying you're going to get a commitment as your surprise that comes in after this difficult issue that you have to deal with in some situation. And you will have a reason to smile. Your angels will protect you, okay? They will protect you. And you will keep the peace. You will have your peace. You aren't, you're not going to start anything, but you're not going to let anybody else start anything either. You're going to keep the peace. All right, pile three. That was weird. <laughs> but anyway, uh, hopefully it resonates with you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. All right, pile four, if you chose the moon, this one is going to be your reading. Let's get your cards. Nine of Wands. King of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Look at those sevens. Queen of Swords. Well, Mr. Sneaky's here. My liar, cheater, and thief. You knew that, right? Now, I know he doesn't always mean that, but in this reading, I think they do. I think my liar, cheater, and thief is here. And I think you don't trust them. I don't think you, you don't trust them at all. I think you finally realized that something's just not worth it anymore. I think you finally realized you need to do something else. You need to change directions. I think that you um, you finally seen the light. And I think you have some mental clarity now. And you're like cutting through the BS. And you're using your logic. And you're like, you know what? I've given this person chance after chance. And it's still not where I want it. So we're, um, we're moving on. So I don't know if it's a situation or a person, but you're moving on from something. And uh, I, I think it's the smart move, to be honest with you. I think with the King of Wands, you're going to enjoy being free from this. I think it's going to lead you to some... The King of Wands sometimes is like that player energy. You know, they're, they're, they're having fun while they're single, they're... They're enjoying life. They're they're doing what they want. They don't have to answer to anybody. They're the leader. They're in charge. So they're just, uh, you know, courageous and fiery and passionate. So I kind of feel like that's what you're going to do. I think you've gotten to a point where you, you see the writing on the wall and you're like, no, nah, I'm done. I'm changing directions and I'm going to enjoy being free from this situation. Wow. That's what I got from this. So... <laughs> Let's see where the cards are going to, the rest of the cards are going to come out. Because that was like uh, pretty specific, right? Let's see, let's see. New opportunity, possibilities, and paths opening up. All right. And waiting for news, package, or a letter. So, yeah, you're, you're. I think they think all kinds of things are opening up for you a different ways of life different maybe a job opportunities different uh, uh, dating opportunities different uh, friendship opportunities I think I think you're gonna start enjoying life now I think you finally have had it I, I just feel a lot of distrust here and uh, I think you've re reached the point of completion you're like, I'm done with it. And you got all this, all these new directions you can go in now. Like all these opportunities, all this excitement here. Now, whether that's necessarily healthy or not, 
<laughs> that's a different story. But I think you're going to be enjoying life. That's for sure. Professional assistance. Kind of feels like a divorce. Kind of feels like you need professional assistance to, to cut ties with somebody or to legalize something. I, I don't know. But yeah, they're saying if you need help, ask for it. It's available to you. It doesn't have to be a divorce. It could be like you guys, uh, you know, terminating in a business partnership because somebody's been cheating and stealing from you all this time and you gave them chance after chance and now you're done. Like it could be something like that. But security, yeah, you're gonna find security. You're and you're doing this for your own security. Uh, there's a reason why you're doing this. But I, I also feel like you feel secure in your in your decision. You feel secure in your life. Like you know, you're the king of wands. You know, you can like do whatever you want. It's kind of like a cocky attitude. But it's actually kind of deserved at this point. I think somebody took advantage of you pretty, pretty, pretty strongly. And so um, it, it's okay for you to feel this way, at least temporarily. All right, I'm okay with it. I don't really like cockiness, but um, I, I just kind of feel like it's a stage you're going through right now because you need to. You need to heal. Prepare to be astounded. Oh, something really good is going to happen for you. Send them love. Wish them peace. See them happy. And prepare to be astounded. You will be a big time manifester. So I told you there's, there's really good things coming in for you. A lot of pathways are opening up. So uh, this could be like a lot of, you know, different people that you could date or a lot of different business opportunities. But prepare to be astounded. Things are like going in your favor in a big way. You know, this of course didn't go in your favor, but now it's going to. Rapid development, excellence, and success. There you go. There you have it. Rapid development, success coming in for you. Big time goodness. <laughs> Big time goodness. Is that even a... I guess it is, but lots of good stuff coming in for you. That energy is gaining momentum. So it's like it's going to start coming in quick. These opportunities, uh, you're going to you're going to hear from, you know, whatever you're waiting on, you're going to hear soon. Like it's it's coming together for you. This was an easy one. This one just like phew came right out didn't it this one has a lot of energy I'm like I'm like speeding so it has a lot of energy attached to it communication a reunion could bring love or a rekindling of a friendship a lucky win seems likely a lucky win a reunion a rekindling somebody's coming back or you're yeah somebody's coming back Sun. Paint the sun back into your sky. That's what you're going to do. That's what you're going to do. You're like tired of this. You're not dealing with this anymore. You're like, you know what? I'm tired of being miserable. I'm going to paint the sun back into my sky. It's time for me to be happy. I'm the king of wands. I'm going to go have fun now. I'm going to enjoy life. Forget you. I don't need you anymore. I don't need what you've done to me. I don't need that in my life. I'm going to be better off by myself. Because I'm going to find something. I'm going to find something pretty amazing. You're going to find. If 
you're looking for love, if this is a love situation, you're definitely finding new love. Somebody's coming back. You're going to rekindle something with somebody, it looks like, it feels like, even if it's just a friendship. But I think it's love. I think you're finding new love. Look at this. I think new love is available to you. Absolutely. Cut ties with that past. Cut ties with that person or that situation. Because luck is on your side now. You're able to like sow anything you want. Like you could create something new here. A completely new life. You could just put it all together. It's yours. And you know, you got security here with, with the teddy bear. Like that security is going to be there for you. So this is really good. Like I understand you're going through some, a difficult thing. And that's probably not so great. But what's coming in is going to be pretty amazing. So I am excited for you. All right. That's what I got for you. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. And leave me a comment. Because all of those things help me a lot. And I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light.